Research shows only slight reductions in bench press, squat, knee extension and vertical jump in trained athletes after two weeks without training. Strength levels typically decrease more notably after three to four weeks of inactivity. Neurological adaptations and changes in muscle architecture account for about 60% of strength gains from resistance training. The remaining 40% are attributed to gains in muscle size. While the proportion of slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers remains unchanged, the size of these muscle fibers decreases after four weeks. If a limb or joint is immobilized, muscle loss can occur even sooner. Studies have shown significant muscle atrophy in as little as one week of immobilization. However, if a trained individual loses muscle, they will typically be able to regain it quicker. This is due to the preservation of some neural adaptations as well as myonuclei in the muscle, also known as muscle memory. Myonuclei are the control centers within muscles responsible for directing muscle growth and function. More myonuclei allow athletes to build and repair muscles more efficiently. They also allow athletes to recover faster and regain strength quickly after a break from training. While an athlete might still be able to lift heavy weights or perform explosive movements after a training break, the capacity to perform repeated efforts typically declines sooner and at a faster rate. Research has shown a 4 to 14% drop in the maximum oxygen uptake or VO2 max within the first four weeks without training. When athletes were put on bed rest, VO2 max declined even faster. One study showed a 27% reduction in as little as three weeks. Blood volume, stroke volume, and cardiac output also decreased significantly after two to three weeks without training. Athletes will also experience a decline in muscular endurance. Regular training increases the density of mitochondria within the muscle, improving the aerobic energy metabolism. If training stops, the number of mitochondria decreases. As a result, the muscle's ability to produce energy from oxygen declines. Athletes typically become more reliant on carbs for energy. However, mitochondrial ATP production in athletes remains above pre-training levels for up to three weeks without training. Trained individuals also have a better ability to redevelop mitochondria once they resume training. If training stops, athletes will also lose some of the improvements in blood supply to the muscle. As a result, the capacity to deliver oxygen to the muscle and clear lactate as a byproduct of anaerobic energy production decreases. However, trained individuals will also be able to restore these adaptations more quickly, restoring oxygen supply and lactate clearance. As always, train hard, recover smart, and fight easy.